Hello everyone, and welcome back to our training videos on ProPresenter 7. Today's video is about the action palette. To get to the action palette, you right click on a slide, go down to add action. You can add an action from one of these menus, or you can go to the action palette and see all of your actions in a window. So your first set of actions are clear actions, so you can clear all, clear audio, clear background, clear video input, clear prop, clear messages, or clear your announcements layer. To add an action to your slide, all you do is click on that icon and drop it onto the slide. Now that icon appears on the slide, and whenever you click on the slide, that action will happen. The next set of actions are media actions. So we can add a graphic to our slide, but we already have a graphic on our slide. So if we were to add a new action of a different graphic, the graphic we currently have would disappear. Then we can add audio to our slide, so we can have graphic and audio at the same time. So if we were to select that, it asks us to find our audio. We could select it and import it. Now when we click on this slide, the slide will appear and it'll start playing the song. And we could add a video input. So if we add a video input to our slide, this will be set above our graphic, but our audio will also still play. So you won't see your graphic action when the video input is on the slide, but you will hear the audio. Now it doesn't remove the graphic action from your slide, it just adds the video layer on top of it. The last set of actions is our interactive actions. So we can add a stage action. What this will do is give you all of your stage outputs and let you change to a different layout on those outputs when you select the slide. You can also decide to freeze your main output by allowing only the stage to be displayed. So what happens when this is selected and you click on the slide, the audience output outputs will not see that slide, but the stage output will. If you needed to get back to seeing stage and audience, you could add an action of stage plus audience. Or if you didn't want to affect that at all, you could have neither of them selected. Then you can add a timer. So if you select the timer and drop it onto the slide, it'll give you the option of selecting which timer you want or to open a timer um, and create a new timer from the pop out window, whether or not it will start, stop or reset that timer. And if you're going to configure that timer, then you can add a prop. So it'll just select which prop and it'll appear on that slide. And then we talked about this in the last video. So if we wanted to change our look, another way we can do it is with our action palette. So if we drop an audience look onto our action slide, we could choose our pre-service slide. So when we selected this slide, our pre-service look would happen. We may put that on our first slide. And then we would go down to our message and we could drop a audience look on it and choose our message look. Then when we go to Brady's message or any message that we have and click on this slide, then our output looks will switch to what we want for the message time. The last interactive action is message. So if you put in a message onto your slide, you get the option of all the messages that you've created. You can edit the uh, different parts of your message and choose different configurations for your countdown if you need to. And when you click on the slide, that will appear. Now, once you have actions on a slide, you can right click and you could edit your action. If you notice, we have a yellow triangle here. That means one of our actions has not been set up properly. So if we went to our timer, we could edit our timer. It's saying we never selected one. So if we select a timer and choose what configuration we want. Then when we go back into our slide, that yellow configuration issue is gone. We can also remove an action by coming into the remove action and selecting what action we want to remove and that icon will disappear from our slide. Actions are a great way to make a quick change to your presentation by just selecting a slide. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.